Welcome to the Bike It List. What you're seeing right now is me correcting a mistake. I started filming coming into Death Valley and the camera failed to start. And I didn't catch it. So now we're going to do it over again. As you can see, the sun is well and truly up now. I came in here originally before daybreak because I wanted to catch the light in the mountains at sunrise. But as things go, now we're going to go back up. This is a beautiful ride, by the way. If you ever get the chance, you should do it. Every morning is the best time. At early daybreak, anything close to that, it's just beautiful the lights work on the mountains and it just gives you incredible views. Sunset's pretty good too but it's different every day so no matter how many times you see it you never see the same thing two times. Yeah. You're going to notice some vibration and severe shaking and a little bit of slowdown in the video. Uh, it comes because the roads are so rough up here and it raises cane with the, the camera and the mount. I'm working on a gimbal for a new one and I should have it soon. I'm going to say that probably more than once before we're done. This is a good example of why hiding out in Death Valley over a quarantine is not a great idea. They're sitting on the side of the road up here and they're out of gas. And the nearest gas station's 57 miles away. There, somebody's going to get them fuel though. We already talked to them about it earlier. This is the kiosk where you pay to go into Death Valley if you're using any of the facilities or the tourist sites themselves. If you're just passing through and using the highway, you don't have to pay. It's a good idea to uh, pay them if you're going to go to the sites because you get caught.
This is what you would have seen had the camera worked right the first time. Now we'll go on down into Death Valley. This is the way you go in the southern entrance out of Nevada. passing our tourists again, the quarantine tourists I guess you call them, but I checked on them again a couple hours later and they were doing fine. They, somebody brought them gas and they were on their way. When the station is open in Death Valley, it can cost you 8 to $10 a gallon for gas. And if you're not prepared, it can be expensive.
from here on in you have to be pretty careful these corners are a little bit tight and the tour buses use up a lot of road there's not always enough room for motorcycles and buses This curve takes you right up to Death Valley Inn. It's one of the nicer places to stay in the valley. Uh, it's almost always busy. Great restaurant. But uh, right now it's shut down like everything else is. And another one of the quarantine tourists is just found himself a great spot to take pictures, especially in the morning. This is mostly where the people that work here live, and the tree area that you see uh, is the campground and golf course and most of the other bits of civilization in here. As you can see from the vibration in the windshield, this is a very bumpy road in horrible condition in its own weird way. And it's creating a lot of vibration and other problems with the camera. Sorry about that. This is Furnace Creek. The golf course is here. Hotel is here. Uh, there's all kinds of cabins and RV parks and anything you might imagine up in this area. It's an uh, interesting place to spend a little bit of time. That's the only gas station right there. And then uh, there's even a little general store and a few other things in here. Make sure you bring your checkbook. You'll need it. We're going to make a part two from this one because it's too long for what they're letting me do right now. And we'll come out through Rhyolite uh, outside of Beatty, Nevada on the first one of those. And maybe the next one will go all the way up to Lone Pine. Hard to say. Hope you liked the video. Push the button if you want to. Thanks for watching.